It didn't say. It was a very short article. It just, uh, it just lets you know that this guy has priorities a little bit uh, askew, depending on who you ask, though. It's all in perception. Again, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the case of it was National Beer Day, and I think it was more selfish of the kids. But uh, moving <laughs> on, uh, Hank, Pennsylvania or Germany? Germany, Germany. Okay. So a <laughs> have we done? I feel like it's been forever since a, since Europe has been in our headlines on the afternoon. It's been a while. Well, we have two European headlines. Normally, they deal with strange things involving sex stuff, and this one yeah. right up that alley, so to speak. A uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thanks for catching on there, guys. Got it. Yeah, great. All right, a suspected bomb was at a German casino. A bomb team even came in to investigate. It was actually turned out to be a sex toy. That sex <laughs> toy was a vibrating, uh, we'll say, penis ring. Mechanical. That mechanical that actually was in the on setting, which made the German casino uh, authorities believe that it was a bomb. Hank, why was your suitcase in Germany? <laughs> in German oh, trash can. <laughs> Uh, why? <laughs> like how? That's a pretty big difference. I don't think they found the culprit of who disposed of their their ring, but you know, I guess he had better things to do, and it, maybe it had served his purpose. But I don't know. It said about ninety people were evacuated from the casino and neighboring buildings, and the bomb. <laughs> I just love to be the guy in the bomb suit. He's all suited up. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't had any action in months now. Here I go, and he's got it. It just is it's on, guys. It's a, it's a penis ring. <laughs> there you go. Found it. There you go. Yeah, and the fact that he left it on kind of <laughs> is just weird, too. I don't know if it was left on. They said they started hurting no hearing noises throughout the day, so I'm thinking maybe it was... Well, it's like a Tamagotchi. If you don't give it enough attention, maybe, yeah. it starts <laughs> calling maybe out. Maybe it was a faulty one. I, don't, I mean, I'm, I don't know. I'm not a big connoisseur in that kind of well, Scott, department. Well, I mean, yeah. store. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hank was going to say... Well, what, Hank? <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to make a mean joke to you, but I can't do it now. I missed my, my delivery. <laughs> you, uh, you missed it? Hang on. I, don't I think was going to make mean. a mean joke to you, too. You wanted to do them anyway? No. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to do it. I was going to say, we, we on the inside uh, here, we have information. We, we <laughs> <are> <laughs> 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 it's Friday. We on the inside <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 deliver it now. <laughs> you messed up too much. Chat, chat, chat. <laughs> No, I was going to say we have inside information on the afternoon buzz because the word was it was extra small, so it must have been Oh. Oh. I was just going to say you kind of understand that realm of sexual innuendo so i figured you could tell us why it would be left on now oh now all the jokes are going on great insult hank hey <laughs> let me no. tell you there's an on and an off button and when you want it to be on <laughs> you switch it to on okay <laughs> good one hank that's why that's i'm why gonna I... lose sleep over that <laughs> you can't show your face around campus scott yeah hank that's bad uh we'll leave it up to you again you want pennsylvania or pennsylvania because we only have time for one more story Pennsylvania. Don't All right, Pennsylvania. Don't screw it up. Yeah, true. I mean, he probably <laughs> answered Michigan in that, that situation. I would never say Michigan. You would never. That's true. That would that'd be, that'd be forced. Michigan doesn't make stupid news. We make great news. I don't know. They don't make people. the news, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're a swing state, at least. We make news. Uh, Pennsylvania man actually set up a fake DUI with cones and everything. It was checking people. Real state troopers were called, and the man who set up the fake DUI ended up getting a DUI. How did he get? It? How did he get the DUI? I mean, did he like start to drive away? Like, oh, you got me! Like, this is fake, and there is like we were waiting for you to start the car, bud. My my theory is that he had to have a car. They had to test it to see if it was still hot or something like that. And he was drunk and just like, I'm gonna set up a DUI, bro. I, <laughs> I'm gonna set it up. Well, I mean, kudos to that guy. I mean, I feel like that's a lot of work. That's a lot. <laughs> it's a very idiotic thing to do. Oh, well, what, 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 what exactly? What he was he looking for? Was he like, you know what? I'm sick and tired of drunk drivers like myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get them. I'm going to take myself. care of this. <laughs> I'm sick of people like me. I'm going to set up a checkpoint. <laughs> I'm going to take stuff. I'm going to do something about yeah. this. <laughs> so a bunch of sober people could pass me with my drunk, you know what. <laughs> oh. I think that's commitment. Have you ever driven through one of these things? They're a pain. They are a pain. They are actually, a pain. I don't even think they're legal in America. Like, they are actually, there's a huge debate, an ongoing debate about them being unconstitutional because it's like searching without a reason. Because, I mean, like, if, if you believe somebody's drunk, cops will follow you out of the bar at 2.30 right. and wait for you to cross that yellow line or, or turn into, you know, the next lane over. Anything that they can pull you over on, a DUI checkpoint just says, hey, are you drunk? Yeah. You know? Right. So there's that big argument. Who knows how it'll be resorted out. But politics is coming up because we've got Donald Trump and Scott Walker in the news. Uh, we got Ernie Els in the news. More stuff coming up that's totally politically correct. Right, Hank? 
Yeah, sort of, until we That's start talking niche. about it. Until we start talking about it. The headlines might be politically correct, but us, not so much. So if you're looking for a politically correct show, tune the dial. But if you're not, stay right here. This is the Afternoon Buzz on WHEI 88.9. Afternoon Buzz, WHEI 88.9. I know we promised more political incorrectness, but we're going to tune down the political incorrectness just to, just a little bit before the FCC gets on us so we can talk about some Hinge. puppies. Oh, puppies. Some oh, puppies. puppies. Puppies rule the internet. No matter what cat believers think, cats are the worst thing known to man. They are. They are. The they do anything to bring you down, and if they do something wrong, they will just bask in it. Dogs are the most loyal, loving creatures out there. Yeah, Is there anybody in this room that disputes that? No. No. Both of those are factual. Thank you. Yeah, I don't want to. I, I don't want a cat in my people. house. Three no. out of three people are dog people. Yes. So. Three. Out, that's a statistic now. So. Three out of 100 percent of people are dog people. That's yeah. right. Yeah. We no. all agree here. No. And so. I guess we're gonna get out of the realm of political correctness. I don't want. I don't. I don't like cats at all. No. They mess with you while they sleep. They the dog will watch. Dude. Yeah. They sense my hatred and they just pick on. Them. I am a firm believer in that. <laughs> they I do. am a firm believer they in that. They know you don't like them, so they intentionally like will rub up against your leg and. <laughs> I'll kick it across the room. <laughs> <laughs> my, <laughs> nice, nice. Hey, it's just field goal practice, right? Hey, I put my cat, my old cat, me and my dad put it in the dryer for about 10 seconds. Hank. That's probably not something to say with a microphone. <laughs> but, <laughs> and now not, not only the FCCA, but what is it, the ASPCA? What was that, Hank? Okay, no, no, no. PETA, PETA's going to be on the it case. It was like two seconds, Tom. Wait, wait, you're wait. about to be, you're about to be, you just said, <laughs> you're about to be in the next Arms of the Angel ASPCA commercial. Hey. Let's hear a sound clip from an animal abuser. Oh, hey, the cat. I put my dog, I put my cat in the dryer for 10 <laughs> seconds. No, 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 the cat lives. Now Siegfried's guilty by association. No, oh, my God. The cat, Hank. The cat. Hank, uh, Hank, you lost your mic privilege. I just turned it off. Goodness. I can't believe he just said that. Goodness. We will be issuing an apology via Twitter shortly. <laughs> no, we really don't care. Go ahead, Hank. Oh, my God. No, the cat lived a long 10 years after that and was a gr actually the only cat I've ever liked. It's the only, oh. That's what you do to the cat you do like? What did you do to the I cat you don't like? the only cat we ever killed. Yeah. No, it lived a long, good life. It died of old age. It was a, a hey. trustworthy cat. It oh, my Stuck, God. did we its own thing. already have one tweet saying, watch what you say about cats. From uh, my girlfriend, actually. Yeah, she, she wants a cat in our apartment I think that's really just towards all one. of us. I don't it, think she's here? just saying... This no, apartment? No, 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 no. When, oh, okay. when we get one together, she wants... I was going to uh, say, I think you can say... Which is in the plan. She wants, a, she wants a cat in the apartment. And I always tell her, I mean, this is going to be equivalent to Hank, but, you know, next time I mow the lawn, if it slides under there, it's not my fault. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, if their tail gets cut... You don't mow the lawn when you have an apartment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna find a lawn to mow. <laughs> Betsy across the street will be 80, and she'll need her lawn. She'll need her lawn mowed. But uh, yeah, so none of us are uh, cat people. That's clearly established. Well, I guess I'm the most cat. I've never put a cat in anything a cat doesn't belong. Actually, in. Oh, I've never put a cat in anything a cat doesn't belong into. <laughs> if I had a cat, I would love it as my own. And just when she's not, like I almost thought me, you were gonna say. You were talking about off campus next semester, or next year, whatever, next semester. That Sandy talks you into getting a cat for no. the time she. I was gonna say no. That. No, is if you if I if I did that, you would be cracking the whip twenty four. You would just. Push. I would. I every would. Time. Yeah, every I time would I talk, give you push. so much. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I would, Sandy. If you could do that, I would honestly love it because that'd don't, be great. Don't feed ideas. Are just, you ever, just to I Sandy? Don't. I want you to convince don't them to get a cat. Feed just surprise him. Ideas. Just come over you, with a kitten and you've give you've him your puppy eyes. A cat though. You've never. I will not say no. I'm talking directly Bro. to you. Oh, we need to uh, she just tweeted at me. I'm on the verge of being single, so I need that. We need to bring it down. Bring it down. <laughs> what were you gonna say, Hank? I was just saying. Have you ever like picked on a cat, like not thrown it in a dryer, but just been stupid Hank. to it? Because no, I have you never stop. picked on a cat. <laughs> I have never thrown it it's in a so dryer. It's so funny. You know, all this <laughs> time, God, Hank. I swear, it's, uh, the the way what Hank and thought? I will just be offhand and we'll say something. We've said things for our late night show that we couldn't use because it's. I swear, one time I'm gonna be at some some radio station i'm gonna say something and it'll just get me canned and then you'll see me in like a deadbeat gym with a headset like come on ladies let's push it <laughs> let's push it ladies that's where my career is gonna die down oh uh, should Hank we get uh, sinking our ship quick i swear i asked robin if the fcc was there and she said oh no what have you done oh man so i think the fcc is out front we'll have to talk to them in a bit oh. So this better be a long segment. We've got to the next commercial break. Uh, but uh, so even though we just promised political correctness for one story, we just went off the walls. It was just uh, Hank, the most we might Hank have ever been off the walls. Off the wall. Yes, Hank. Why did you? Okay, we're not going to bring no, up. No, no, bring it up. No, we're let's, not going <laughs> to. He's like, no, you're screw it. Let's talk about. Let's it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Hey, I no. Okay. What kind I, of cat was it? 
It was a Himalayan. It was a I she was know, a trooper. Cats. We would pick her up. <laughs> and we'd rub her on the ceiling, like because we're tall hey, enough. Please stop before you get arrested. Put her on the floor and then get her all dizzy and just set her on her feet. Watch her run into crap. <laughs> oh my all right. lord! Now Siegfried's gonna have to lawyer up. But uh, yes. Let's get to the puppies. Let's get to the puppies. Yeah, puppies. Everybody <laughs> loves puppies, right? I've never thrown one yeah. of those into the dryer. No, no, no <laughs> reason to. Hey, uh, <laughs> goodness gracious. Lord help us with the rest of this day. I, I can't believe it. Uh, ca- <laughs> this is actually the first time we've mentioned California in a positive light, I believe. But there's a new California dog cafe where you can pay $10 to get in. You can have coffee as you wish. Whatever drinks, Starbucks-like quality coffee, I'm sure, because it's California and they're into that kind of crap. And <laughs> there's pu- <laughs> there's puppies just roaming around that you could possibly adopt. Yeah, That's- it's a it's a puppy cafe is what it's called. A puppy cafe. It's just like an alternative to a shelter. Like all their dogs that are out are available for adoption. They've all been spayed and neutered. So I'm assuming I don't know where exactly they get these animals, but. They get them, and you just you pay ten bucks, and you get an hour with the puppies and a drink. Or I mean, I don't know if they're all puppies, but you get an hour to go play with the dogs, and they're up for adoption. I mean, Imagine great how great way. that would be during finals. Exactly. Apparently, no. Apparently, they do that. That would be great during finals. No. Except you'd probably fail because you just love puppies. <laughs> I know. I know. Hank's, you broke. Hank's that big guy that when you but when you see him in his house, he's on the floor with like a hundred puppies. Like, oh <laughs> no, no, I am. Yeah. <laughs> Hank, what do you do with they when they stop being puppies? I keep them. I love dogs. Yeah. <laughs> You yeah. don't throw them in the dryer or yeah. anything along those lines. No. Throw them away. I'm sending that sound. We have this. I'm sending that sound clip to PETA just to see what they say. I'm assuming you just got a text message. I did. By that look on your face. Is it Siegfried? <laughs> it's. <laughs> Is it one of the girls? It's Kinsey. She said, uh, Henry Bourne just went from my favorite squad member to my <laughs> least favorite. <laughs> Hashtag save the cat. Uh-oh. Are you going to have a cat in your house, Shudo? I'm not talking about it. I'm not talking about it. Oh, Kenzie. I, Kenzie, whenever no, he Ken, gets an apartment no, no, or anything no, like that, no, you got to get a cat. How's no. it feel, bud? How's it feel? She's in Greece. Both of us can play this game now. She'll it doesn't forget. matter. She'll bring a nope. kitty home from Greece. She'll forget. For She'll bring a cat home from Greece. There are a bunch of cats She'll bring a cat home around. from Greece, and then we'll just have to find our own apartment to chill at because we hate cats so much. <laughs> That'll be our escape from we'll the cats and our, apartment and our and we'll girlfriends. Get a, yeah. a bro apartment. We'll get our bro down apartment and our girlfriend apartment, and we'll solve this issue. And I was on the verge of being single before this. How does a puppy cafe turn into the conversation we just had? Because <laughs> Hank gonna... puts cats in dryers. <laughs> <laughs> Threw us all off. I was not expecting that. He's, she, she only had like three concussions when she stepped out from clank, She clank, was clank. completely fine. She wasn't in there long enough Hank. to... Get was hurt. the dryer on? We yes. That, that, by that pause, I know it was on. Okay. You know how, like, here, like I don't know how, how to explain it. Because we turned it on, but we didn't even let it go one full rotation. I just want to let you know, you know Sarah Ash very well. Yeah. <laughs> I just, she just texted me. I texted her, listen to 88.9. And now she lists, this is the first segment <laughs> she's ever heard of this show. And I'm sure that radio is already off. <laughs> I'm going to text Robin to tell her to listen in now. <laughs> See what oh happens. Oh, my goodness. All right. Should we move away from the puppy, puppy cafe before our careers are damaged? I mean, I thought the puppy cafe is a very uplifting topic. We need to move away from Hank. Is yes. what we need to do. <laughs> well, I do have his mic button, but I'm finding it. I can't lie. I'm finding it pretty entertaining. I mean, it was. It's, it's all right, all so what are we going to take away from this? Sa- uh, the cat Sandy, lived. don't even think about getting a cat for the apartment. Kenzie, get multiple cats for the apartment. False. And Hank, ASPCA, and PETA are going to be on your case. Okay, no. the cat lived. I want Just Sandy to bring you a kitten to the point where you can't say no. Because I know she can convince you. <laughs> all right. Oh, TV Sandy timeout. Let me just me. send out a notice. The cat lived. Sandy proved it wrong. lived a full I am very life. Persuasive. I loved the cat. Treated it well after maybe a few instances of being a little uh, bit of a bully. Hank, but you the can't cat. save yourself. Just it was drop your it. dream to be a Bengals kicker, right? So I'm assuming where your practice practicing. came from, because you didn't have a football field. <laughs> no. So I'm assuming or a football. <laughs> or a football. <laughs> so I'm assuming I know where you practice. <laughs> All, all right, right, moving on, moving on. Uh, <laughs> Making me look real bad with Okay, that one. all right, yes, uh, you do that yourself, hey, bud. nothing will look worse than you putting a cat in the dryer. It lived! <laughs> <laughs> all right, moving on. It? Does it have a name? Did you name it? Did you just call it It for ten years? <laughs> it, no, his name was Phoebe. You named It? Like, he? You named him Phoebe? It was she. She you was Phoebe. Oh, my God. Oh. That poor cat. I got feel for the cat. I think I just got a picture of a, a cat in a dryer from somebody oh lord yeah this is getting out of hand yeah we need to move oh on. no actually it's it's uh <laughs> God. 
<laughs> all right, all right. Moving on to the next topic right here. A uh, <laughs> a California man. Who sent you that? Scare out Sarah sent me that. <laughs> Is he gonna talk? Yeah, there was yeah. yeah. Was a little, what are those things called? What are those sloths. animals? Sloths. Sloths. They have the dirtiest look. Yeah. All right, a uh, a California man scaled a 600 foot Morocco Moro rock for a proposal. He got rescued. However, during this proposal, he had to get like I said, he had to get rescued. Then he was charged with the possession of methamphetamines. But the good news is, she said yes to the proposal. Yeah, he he climbed this rock to. FaceTime his girlfriend and proposed to her. She then said yes. He then fell off said rock and needed to be airlifted out of there. And during the process of the airlift, I guess it was, or when he got back, police found out he had meth on him. So then he got arrested for possession of methamphetamine. So just. You think his wife left him or his fiance no, left him after no, finding that out? She said yes. Uh, no, she did not. You said yes still? I don't. They didn't tell you. I don't know if she changed her mind. I'm sure she knew he was using meth. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure as a parent in his features. Can we go back to the cat in the dryer? Because this is... Oh, wait. Hold on. I actually got a good tweet today. So, uh, Sandra t- uh, tweeted, hashtag save the cats. And, um, <laughs> oh, no, that's not good. Kenzie tweeted, I support hashtag Scott gets a cat 2016. Yes. yes. Sandy, do your job as my girlfriend and tweet the same thing to Shudo. No. Yes. Don't do it. Yes. Don't please do, do it. it. Please do it. Uh, we, if we both have cats, you, we can. Dude, think about the pauses. <laughs> if we both have cats, we have a bro down apartment. We get away from it. Yeah. You think that? I don't think that's gonna go over very well. I think. I think it. I mean. I, I mean, know. if they want to pay for the cat apartment and we pay for the bro apartment, that's fair. We'll well, just, I'm not paying for two we'll apartments. Just, we'll just keep it secret. We'll just keep the. We'll the secret. I, I have it. I feel like our bro down apartment's gonna end up being like a cardboard box at a TV. Was <laughs> imagination. <Yeah. laughs> like in the backyard while our girlfriends just look at us and like look at those idiots. <laughs> yeah, but it's gonna be great because then we'll be like like Patrick and SpongeBob, yeah. and then they'll hear a bunch of fun stuff going on, and when they open yeah. the box, nothing's gonna be there. And we'll just be sitting there with a beer. <laughs> <laughs> sitting there. Hey, can what's we up? just take a side note to that episode of SpongeBob because it's the best episode ever made? <laughs> that is a great episode. That oh. is a great episode. Yeah, all right, my phone's blowing up. I gotta, we got to react to the, uh, I think we got to file a case with uh, PETA, an apology with the ASPCA and PETA and multiple other animal-loving organizations. <laughs> but we have decided in the studio that 100% of us out there in the world are dog lovers. Have we not? Yes. Well, three out of three. Three out of three. It's a statistic according to the Afternoon Buzz. Hank, tweet this. According to the Afternoon Buzz, 100% of people are dog, lo- are dog lovers. Hashtag dogs, not cats. And uh, we can't promise any political correctness after that, but we will be back here on Afternoon Buzz, WHEI 88.9. Afternoon Buzz WHE 88.9. Thank you for uh, tuning back in, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you uh, haven't given up on us yet, but we have some more uh, politically uh, correct or incorrect stories, Hank. What you Probably think? incorrect. Probably incorrect. We're not much for it. Um, sticking with California, then, shall we? Sure. Uh, California car chase, or you know what? Let's screw the car chase. Right. California man. This is more politically incorrect, which I'm choosing it. A California man in Los Angeles was charged with child abuse for leaving his children in the car so he could go enjoy a night at the strip club. Well, can't say, uh, you know. We've all been there. Yeah, I think that's an <laughs> accurate. <laughs> we've, <laughs> we've all been there. Can't say that's not an accurate prediction of Shudo's future. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right down. I mean, what are we talking about? That's going to be, that's going to be, I don't think it'll be an L.A. strip club. Hank will be in, like, uh. Topeka, Dayton. Kansas strip club Dayton, Ohio. kind of thing, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to be in Kansas. <laughs> of course you are. What's in Kansas? Exactly. <laughs> I'm stay right here in Tiffin. Uh, How old were the children? Do we I know? don't know, but apparently not old enough for the uh, to get in the strip club. Well, so, yeah. I mean, because that's responsible was... parenting. You don't want to bring your kid in that environment. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I think California's got it all backwards. Let's look at the silver lining here. That's good parenting. <laughs> That is good parenting, because you know, if they weren't of the age to see it, yeah, then they stopped them from seeing it. Can't get a babysitter. What do you, well, I mean, you still got to go. <laughs> you, st- you still got to meet your buddies from the work, uh, from the Factory. shop. At the it's like the one perk yeah. a kid could have if his mom was stripper. Be like, how was yesterday? Well, it was take your child to work day, so great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, I was eight, and it was fantastic. It's like everything I've ever wanted. <laughs> nice. Oh man, yeah, we got big know, dreams. We went <laughs> off the deep end this yeah, year. Yeah, we did. This 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 show went completely off the deep end. Twitter is blowing up. 
The ASPCA is contacting Hank to use that sound bite in the next uh, commercial of theirs. <laughs> Sarah McLaughlin is recording a brand new song just for just for the new commercial. They're gonna start that campaign back up. But yeah, uh, I, want, I want a sound clip of that. Can we make like a meme of that or something? Get that going around. Just Hank. Put a cat in a dryer once. <laughs> Hank's Only like, ten seconds. Hank, if we had the Anchorman crew, Hank is brick. Not at all. No, you are brick. You are no, without a doubt. You're brick Tamlin. <laughs> I think so. I don't think you really thought before you said that. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not like sitting here like I love lamp. But but it's equivalent to the discussion. I mean, it's you're in reality. Someone would never say that and be on a news team. On a news team, you would be brick. I'm saying I'm giving you a compliment in that too. I know you're you're working a little slower over there, and I got to help you out here. But I gave you a compliment saying your news team qualifications. But you're brick of a news. Team. <laughs> so basically, I'm I could work at a news station, but I won't because I'm brick. <laughs> No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you can, but you'd just be the equivalent of Brick Tamlin on real news. <laughs> okay, but not nearly as uh, bad. You're needed that's for exa- comedic relief. Yes, Hank. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I am the comedic You're like relief. weather in Arizona. <laughs> it's dry. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to be dry today. <laughs> We're in to Tiffin. You. It's going to be dry. I was waiting for you guys to elaborate on that. I was like, I don't get it. Well, I mean, Arizona, the, the weather doesn't change. It's... <laughs> It's like it in Tiffin. The clouds uh, have covered the sun again for the next, the last 60 days. And yes, it's snowing in the middle of May. <laughs> or April, excuse me. And hence the weatherman. Yep, exactly. Hence the Brick Tamlin of the crew. Uh, now, let, let's see look what else we got here. Cal- let's stick with California, shall we? Why not? They seem to be a theme. California. Um, I consider this man maybe a little bit of a hero. California man of seven you years. Know what? I'm the brighter. I'm really glad we found the bright side of every story yeah. that we've discussed today. <laughs> we have. My favorite has been that's good parenting for not wanting to put him in that environment. <laughs> <laughs> there's. I think there's going to be new laws on the books just because of the bright lining or the silver linings that we put in yes. the show today. You really got to think about it. Put I mean, you got to think. Perspective. Does I mean honestly, should the guy have brought his kids in the strip club? <laughs> no. What do you no. expect him to do? Exactly. <laughs> and it's it's April. The car. Really the car couldn't have been that hot. I'm sure a window or two were cracked. Yeah, right. exactly. Right. And they pro- he probably got him like a slushy or something. <laughs> right. <laughs> coloring book <laughs> and some crayons. A coloring book from inside the strip club. <laughs> <laughs> An adult coloring book. Hey, try book. this. Try an adult coloring book, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Those are actually catching on in popularity. They're huge. They're did, huge, did yeah. My that, grandma uh, has the, one. The, uh, Don't mention strip club and huge. It's not an adult one. Because we know the kind of strip clubs you go to. The colored to. pencil mm. company is actually you got it. having you got it. to... Um, He's trying to deny it, still trying to go on with the story. It's a good story. He can't process because of how anymore. popular adult coloring books are getting. The colored pencil factory is actually having to uh, have more overtime shifts and everything. Like, Hank, did you read an article? Colored pencil. Sh- I did read an article. Hank, <laughs> what <laughs> what made now? you click that? Like, why did, did you see the headline? Like, pencil or colored pencils is in, on the rise, and Hank's like, wow. Okay, if there's that is anything, interesting. I need to read the rest. There's of two this. things I'm good at: random facts and movie stuff. Movie quotes. Movie movie information. No, but yeah, what was it last night? We were watching the game, and Hank was in his bed like, Scott, what? Tiger took a full swing today. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Tiger hit his driver today. Yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> Tiger hit his driver that's today. That's good news. I mean, I mean, sure, but uh, do I care? Yeah. I you mean, play, you played care? golf? I thought you might appreciate the fact that... Hey, Hank, uh, how's Ricky doing? Hey, Ooh. you're going to throw that in my face? Yeah. How's Michigan State doing? Michigan, they're off season right now, but... Well, how'd they do? They did pretty well. Middle, Middle Tennessee, Tennessee State, State made tournament. University. Yeah. We, yeah but and we I all mean, know Buddy Hill should have won player of the year. No, we I, don't. I would agree with that. Because do they factor in that? No, we won't get, we won't get sports. Shooter will get pissy, and then we'll, he'll be quiet. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, yeah. He can't talk about sports because both his teams choked this year. Well, we just know the stage is too big for Michigan State. Yeah. <clears throat> the national stage ain't their thing. I sense the quietness on mic number two. I, I, hey, we made the tournament. <laughs> well, Ohio State played longer in March than, than Michigan State <laughs> did. Nobody would have predicted nothing. that. that it's a nobody's interested tournament. We killed it in the first round. Yeah. Uh, anyway, let's go back to California. A man uh, for seven years was a wedding crasher, so to speak. He was a wedding thief when uh, groomsmen and bridesmaids and the groom and the bride themselves would get too drunk. He would steal their wallets and everything like that. He made his living off of this, and after seven years, the man's epic run has finally come to an end. Did he get arrested or Hank? Yeah, I th- he got arrested. He yeah, got arrested. Smart, but he got away with it for seven years. That's incredible. How did they know that it was seven years running? I mean, I would admit to the one time I got caught. Yeah, I don't know. How they by the way, guys. I mean, do you think he's that smart? If he okay, let me let me. He's they gotta say, be smart. They say criminals aren't smart. Are are smart? They're not a dumb like people like to say. But there's always something. 
that they just they don't think about. Give you an, give you an instance. My golf coach from middle school, still my favorite golf coach today, except for Dan Hartzell. Yeah, <laughs> but um, he <laughs> he told me a story about one of his distant relatives who stole a TV from a gr- from a garage of somebody's house. He set the TV up, realized that he forgot the remote. Went back to get the remote. Police arrived. He was taken away. Yeah, that's pretty idiotic. That's about as idiotic as you can get. That's just as stupid as it gets. I mean, just walk, you stole the TV. You don't have the discipline to walk up. What would have been funny is if the guy who got his TV stolen found out the, that this guy stole his TV, and so he just drove by every day just changing the <laughs> channels. <laughs> just changing the channels. <laughs> yeah. Now, wait, isn't there some little – okay, prime dad joke. I think you're referencing the tweet. It's some tweet, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Prime dad joke for – Hank over there. That, yeah, I think you could make a living off that, Hank. You Probably know what? Could. Let's compliment Hank for a second. Hey, thank you. Finally. Yeah. I'm appreciated for yeah, what I'm good at. It makes me uncomfortable. It makes me uncomfortable, too. I don't like it. So yeah. let's throw out the commercial. Let's go back. Wait, wait. We were talking. <laughs> what were we complimenting you on? <laughs> well, I was complimenting him on his dad jokes okay. presentation. Well, Always oh, good. He is the oh, best dad joker. Yeah. You're I'll ready for the that. future in that regard. I, I am. That. I'm yeah. prepared. You are. The one thing I want to know, though, is what was his annual salary? Like, how much did he make a year from that stealing all that money? Yeah, I don't money, know, but I'm I, guessing he didn't file it with the I've IRS. I've been to two weddings in the past two years. So, I mean, he must be making bank. No, no, no. He, well, okay, yes. But he, went, <laughs> he, would, like, he wasn't invited to these weddings. He would just show up like, hey, I'm Uncle Jim. And, oh, okay. So yeah. he was like no, a real wedding crasher. No, he wasn't invited crasher. to these. Yeah, he was a real wedding crasher. Like, yeah, <laughs> the, the article was telling stories about how he posed as all these relatives and that all this kind ballsy. of. Yeah, it is. That is. It is. But at a wedding, if somebody's there, you assume they were invited, and then everybody's got to talk and be like, who is that guy? And you never want to say to somebody at an event like that, I don't remember you. you know yeah, right, I mean? exactly. Because then the person could just reply, oh, I was at the Christmas party last year. And then you're like, oh, I'm a jerk. I'm a jerk because like, I should know him. That's yeah. crazy, though. Like, I feel like yeah, I'd want a team. Like, I want to know somebody there because like, everybody's got assigned seating at weddings. Like, will you just pop in and like sit next to like, Bop, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great sound effect. Exactly. That's I mean, look, look for the – there's open seating in weddings, too, for the presentations and all that. But, I yeah, guess. I know what you mean. In the reception, everybody's got their assigned seat to the, for the meal and everything. But, uh, well, another, another uh, flawless uh, little discussion there. I think it's a little better than the last segment, maybe, for political correctness. A little better, The yeah. FCC might have turned around on their way here. Who knows? Yeah. But we'll find I out soon. It. We'll find out soon. But when, uh, we're going to play a couple songs for you. We're actually, probably just going to play one. It's going to be throwback to Michael Jackson right here. We'll be back on the other side of this for your weird story of the day and the shout-outs. And probably nobody wants to be a part of the shout-outs after this show. Probably but we're going to associate you associate with it. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. Afternoon Buzz. WHEI 88.9. WHEI 88.9. This is the Afternoon Buzz. Thank you for staying with us today at our special time. Based off the Twitter reaction, we've had quite the listeners today. And we'll get your shout-outs in, but I'm assuming nobody wants to be associated with this. And last time I signed off, Kenzie was right. The, the cat had my tongue. Well played. Well played, Kenzie. Very well. But it is time for your weird story of the day, and Hank is very dedicated to digging his own grave today. So go ahead, Hank. <laughs> Hit it. What's the weird story of the day? It's not like it's my story. I just was that happened to be the one who found it. But the weird story of the day is actually in Europe. It was over in uh, the UK. They actually have the first official poop museum. Say that again. What was it? The first official poop museum. Wow. All right, continue. I'm, no, I'm listening. What that is is they gathered a bunch of different types of feces from species. Yes, that's a dumb poster. Um, so basically they have tiger feces and their special exhibit, get, the, get this, is uh, baby humans feces. That's the special one? Yeah, that's the one that's going to be on the billboards. Like, stop in at your local poop museum <laughs> for your <laughs> baby's feces. That's the one feces. you need extra tickets for to get into. Special, special clearance. But yep. apparently that's I guess VIP poop is something of a fascination. I, I like the quote that you gave us from the head executive or whatever it was. And what was the, it was something... I gotta find it. Hang on. Yeah, no, I I just can't believe is is this in Europe, Hank? Yeah, Europe. yeah, it's in that's the UK. That's a European thing. Hey, tell Kenzie Poop. to stop by. It's in Britain. Oh well, I'm sure that's not England. too far away. I mean, it's closer than we are. There you go, Kenzie. If you're looking for something to do, there, you there go. is a poop museum, and I want pictures. There, uh, the poop quote is actually gone. <laughs> it is not the tweet is no longer there. The tweet's no longer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> so maybe it was not official. <laughs> just like our show, it's no longer going to be there. Must after have been crap. A few minutes here. Good one. Good one, bud. The dad joke hit by Shudo. Oh, thank you. Oh, beautifully done. Beautifully done. Well, boys, that's going to do it for another afternoon buzz. Uh, we got to talk to Robin to make sure we're still allowed to do this. Yes, my very last show. Yep. Just, 
If you'll you'll just have to check Twitter and tune in next week. <laughs> yeah, Hank might be in prison for we'll, yeah. animal cruelty. We'll see. And the over the head shot yeah, completely was missed. It wasn't even close. Terrible. Like your normal shots. Like you know, yeah. Ooh. You got good touch there, Hank. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Come back from that, loser. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, let's go to the shout outs now. We'll start off with uh shooter. You wanna lead us off this week? Ah, uh, sure. Go I'm for it. Go hey, when you do your shout outs, just know that I'm playing our song right now. Is it history? It's history by One Direction. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I kind of knew so, that right away. Right away. Right away. I'm playing our song. So you keep that in mind. Because I, I, the war has started. Hey, that's between other people. Yep. All right. Go ahead. Um, first off, I'm going to go with Mom. Thank you for being diligent. We rescheduled the show a couple times. So I'd like to just thank all of our listeners who are here with us today on our not normal time. Um, so, Mom, of course, thank you. And secondly, I'm going to go with uh, my better half over there in Greece. I appreciate you listening in and uh, showing us some support on the Twitter feed. I had a lot of fun. I love you. Uh, good luck over there. Well, talk to you soon. And Hanky. I'm going to have to give a shout-out to old Mom and Pops. I actually have no idea if you're listening or not. But uh, thanks for listening and all you Tiffanites as well. I appreciate you guys listening as well. And uh, all the girls who usually listen, thanks again for always putting up with our political incorrectness. Yeah, yeah, we, they, they're not. I don't this, know. I yeah. tweeted them, but they only liked it. Yeah. Well, uh, I'd like to say that anybody in the... They in, said at lunch, too, they'd be listening. You, Hank was there. Yeah, oh, that's true. That's true. I'd like to say uh, I'd like to say that anybody in Tiffin that stumbles across us and you like us, go ahead and spread the word along. I don't know if you have Twitter or whatever, but spread the word along. We love our local community listening in to us here at Heidelberg. And uh, beyond that, I'd like to thank my girlfriend uh, for not making me single after this show. And there's going to be a big campaign to be a cat in the apartment, but I'm still going to deny it every single time. I'm going to have a dog named Ace. He's going to be a big dog, and that's how it's going to be. All right? Yeah. I'd like to thank my family for listening in. Uh, my mom is very busy right now. I'd like to thank everybody uh, on the squad, everybody on campus uh, that listened in. And also the Siggy Awards. A like, big shout-out to the Berg Sack SAAC. Uh, the Siggy Awards are coming up Sunday, 6.30. Red carpet starts 7.15. It begins, and I am hosting once again. And uh, hopefully I still get to host that after this because I've got some edgy jokes myself. I think the afternoon buzz gave me good practice. I think it did. I think you're ready. So we prepared you. If you're ready to listen in, the Siggy Awards are going to be uh, awards for uh, student athletes, everything like that. That's going to do it for another afternoon buzz. Remember, Siggy Awards, be there on Sunday nights. Everybody, thank you for listening. Have a good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And it is Friday, so catch your bus. <laughs>